Pull. Oh my god! You got him? Keep pulling. Now pull. Hello everyone, welcome back to NB Edits. You guys have probably been wondering, what in the heck happened to these guys? Are they dead? <laughs> no, we are not dead. In fact, we are alive and well. Unfortunately, Mother Nature has taken its course and we have not been able to bring enough content as we would like to you guys, but luckily, we were able to get out this weekend and do some fishing. We have been heavy on the grind. In fact, the grind has not stopped at all for us. But as I said, Mother Nature has kind of gotten in our way. About a week or so ago, we got out fishing with our good buddy Cody Solberg up in northern Wisconsin and we filmed some walleye content. Unfortunately, we were not able to get a video that day, but luckily Cody was. So if you want to check out that video right after you're done watching this one, go ahead, check it out on Cody S YouTube page. We had a lot of fun, but we got over a foot of snow in less than 24 hours, and it was one of the most brutal snowstorms that I've ever had to fish in. It was absolutely crazy. Now, a lot of folks have been asking us how the ice conditions have been. So before we get into today's video, I just wanted to briefly talk about what the ice conditions are like, because we just had a huge rainstorm in the month of December stroll through. I have never seen such torrential downpouring rain in the month of December. It's been absolutely brutal conditions guys. Luckily up here in northern Wisconsin we still have safe ice. Most of that snow that we had come through where we got dumped on with over a foot of snow in one night is pretty much all gone now and luckily we were able to get out this weekend and still do some fishing. Now that all that snow is gone and the rain did come down, ice conditions are still safe. As I said, we got out and did some walleye fishing. I got out over the weekend with my girlfriend Olivia and one of our good friends Pat. We were able to get into some nice walleyes and some other fish as well. Now today's video is pretty much just going to be clip for clip. The reason I'm going through doing this with you guys now is because the winds were so incredibly bad this weekend that you could not even hear me in the intro that I filmed out on the lake. Bear with me through the winds. I apologize for the wind noise during today's video. We had gusts of 20, 30 plus mile an hour winds rolling through pretty much the entire evening. Our shack was blowing clear across the lake. Our tip ups were covered in drift snow. Guys, it was absolutely brutal out there. It was probably the worst windstorm I've ever had to fish in. Luckily, we were able to brave through the storm. We stayed out for a few hours and we got into some quality fish. I wanna thank you guys for all of the support so far here this year during the ice fishing season. We've gone up over a thousand subscribers since early ice. And honestly, it still is early ice conditions for a lot of you just because of what mother nature has thrown at us already this year. Again, we had crazy snowstorms. We had rainstorms. This weekend, we had a crazy windstorm, if that's what you wanna call it. It's been nuts, so bear with us. We're trying to get as much content to you guys as we possibly can. I know that Nick has some time off coming up over the holidays, and I'm hoping to as well. Hopefully, you guys can get out and stay safe over the holidays. We want to wish all of our new subscribers a very Merry Christmas, and to all of you, Happy Holidays. So stay tuned. My girlfriend Olivia catches her very first walleye. You're not going to want to miss it. Same thing, you just pull it out of the water, grab the line, oh, okay, he's still there, pull it up, grab the line, okay. yep, get him, get him, get him. pull, oh my God. you got him, yeah. keep pulling, I'm pulling, here he comes, oh, oh. if he's big, let him fight, it's just not that big, Good job. <laughs> first walleye. All right, there we go. First walleye of the night. Olivia's first walleye ever. That's a nice one. That's a good size one, beautiful colors to it. Let's see it one more time. All right, we're gonna try and get this guy back into the water right away. All right, we got him unhooked. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back into the water. right out. There he goes, just like that, he kicks off. Nice job, babe. Let's go. Woo! Olivia's Woo! first walleye on a tip up. <laughs> Holy cow. 
<laughs> that thing is a running. You want to grab them? I guess so. Okay. Okay. Do I just leave that? Just grab it out of the water. Yeah, he's going to pull against you. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, lay it down and pull. Grab it, pull. Got him? Yeah. Yep, try to keep it. Oh, this feels like a decent one, babe. Yep, pull slow. Okay. I'm trying to get some of this out of here. Oh, that's cold. Oh! 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 Let him run. Okay. Let him run. Let him run. Bye. <laughs> yep, let him run. Oh, if he pulls, just let him have it. Oh, well, it's a pike. <laughs> that's why. Just let him have it. Okay, well, we've got a pike on. Okay, keep him coming. All right, okay. he's getting close. Oh, oh, oh. It looks like a good one, too. Do you want to come hold this? Sure. Okay, we're going to do a little swap here. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Woo! Okay, now he's going up again. I should have got it. <laughs> well, he's got big old teeth. Oh, I don't like that. One last look at this pike before we send them back. Not a giant, but definitely a healthy fish. A lot of times when you get them in that mid-20s-ish range, they're really skinny, which this fish is not. He's plump, not super long, but nice healthy fish. I'm gonna try and get them back right away. Definitely cold and windy out here, so the fins are gonna freeze up quick. Oh. There he goes. Okay, well, not the target species, but another fish. Now we just gotta wait for another flag. Okay, we just got two of them to go up at the same time. No, okay, just let it go. This one's spinning though. Got him. Go. Yeah, yours was bigger. Oh, our sled is going away. Oh, our sled is about to run away on us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we gotta go get our shack. Oh boy. Woo! Got ourselves another tip up. Must be windy because, uh, well, there was a blinking light over there and now there's not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's so windy that it's blowing our flags down even when the tip-up light goes up. All right, well, let's go see what we've got. Grab the line, pull down, yep. Feel and pull hard. I don't feel anything. The no. there already. Got a way on us. Is there a minnow there? Um, yes, there is. Is there? Yep. Okay. All right, well, Miss Flag. Took out a couple feet of line and got away. We're gonna wait for the next one. Woo! There we go. My first walleye of the night. Short, definitely a eater sized walleye. We're not keeping anything here tonight, but uh, definitely another nice one. Gonna go ahead and Get this guy up right away. Alright, go ahead and get a release on her. See you later. Whoo! Alrighty. Well, we did it. <laughs> we braved through the storm. We had a little snow come down on us for a little bit. Not too much though. Mostly just an extremely windy night. Gusts of 20, 30 mile an hour winds. Oh, it's pretty brutal out there, wouldn't you say? It was, mm -hmm. it was bad. It was cold. <laughs> it was really cold, and as the evening went on, the fish definitely just kind of stopped biting. We had a couple flags late where the walleyes would pick it up and basically just drop the bait. They'd take out anywhere from a foot to maybe five feet of line max, and they would just drop it. Um, unfortunately, with all that wind that we had, it locked up a lot of those tip-ups that we were using. We had gusts of snow that were coming across the lake, and our everything was just completely frozen. It was brutal. Our shack was blowing all around every time that we'd get out. 
Um, we didn't have all the equipment because it wasn't Nick and I, uh, as you saw, it was kind of a, a makeshift plan this evening to get out and do some walleye fishing but glad we got on some fish uh got into some walleyes and also got that one pike olivia was a little bit scared of it but uh yeah we had fun out there so if you guys enjoyed make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us we'd really appreciate it we're gonna go inside and warm up because we're freezing cold I think someone's ready to have some dinner. <laughs> Again, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. It's gonna give you an alert on your cell phone anytime that we post a video in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Tight Lines from NBA.